Hey guys, this month I'm going to be sharing with you my fangirl favorites from March 2018. So, I think I had a pretty good, fun, nerdy month of March. I think I have some good things to share with you guys, and I definitely always love hearing uh, about the fun things you guys got up to for the month. Uh, so yeah, let's get going. And before I do start, just a quick disclaimer. Uh, everything that I'm about to talk about, no spoilers for anything. So feel free to continue watching. Uh, so yeah, let's see. Um, I guess start off with some movies. I feel like I had a successful movie month. <laughs> uh, for starters, finally got around to Coco. Yeah, guys, the latest Disney Pixar movie. Uh, when did Coco come out? Coco came out back in, like, late November, I want to say. It's March. I just now got around to it, but better late than never, right? But, oh my god, you guys, Coco. Uh, I loved Coco. I wasn't really sure what to expect with Coco because, I don't know, something about the the trailers. I mean, the trailers gave you a good idea of what was going on in some ways but not the whole deep story and yeah there were just a lot of really surprising twists and turns with Coco that I was like man I freaking love this movie uh so yeah Coco might be a new favorite for me uh I left the movie saying I want to watch this movie again I was dying to watch it again so badly but yeah Coco just one of those really great Pixar stor stories as, as always, you know, just really getting you in the heart. <laughs> and yeah, really great laughs, really great drama and emotion. I loved it. Like I said, definitely a new favorite Disney movie for me. Up, up very, very high. And yeah, I think what Pixar has been doing lately, just kind of sub subverting a lot of tropes that you get with animation and yeah they did it once again you, you think things are going a certain direction you're kind of expecting certain things to happen but then like I said just really great twists and turns that kind of throw you for a loop but yeah you guys I'm definitely curious about your thoughts about Coco uh if you've seen Coco we gotta talk about it and we gotta talk about some of them spoilers because I need someone to talk to <laughs> uh but yeah besides Coco uh, I did finally get around to Black Panther. Wow, I loved Black Panther, you guys. The latest in the Marvel lineup. I feel like the Marvel movies are never going to die. I feel like we're going to get like four of them every single year. Don't we get about four Marvel movies a year? Now it's a little ridiculous. Uh, but yeah, I loved Black Panther. Very surprising. I had my concerns about that as well. It kind of exceeded my expectations. And yeah, uh, you, you think it's a Marvel movie and, it, and it's going to kind of follow similar formulaic plot lines and characters. And it sort of does, but it kind of goes above and beyond in some places, I think. And it does a few different things, you know, instead of you know, a lot of the Marvel movies lately have had a lot to do with aliens and weird things, and Black Panther is a bit more down-to-earth in some ways, which I kind of appreciated. Uh, but yeah, I absolutely loved it. Uh, I don't know where I would rank it as far as Marvel movies goes. Uh, because I, I am, I'm one of those people, I pretty much love every Marvel movie. I mean, there are some that are better than others. There's the ones that are in the middle. There's the ones that I kind of put lower at the end. But even the ones that I put at the bottom of the list, those are still ones that I absolutely freaking love. So it is, it's hard to rank Black Panther. Ah, for me, uh, I'm a big Captain America and Thor fan. Uh, Captain America and Thor, those are my favorite movies, quite honestly. Uh, some people may be like, Thor, why do you like the Thor movies? But uh, Captain America and Thor, those were kind of the first franchises that I got into with the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So yeah, Captain America and Thor just hold a special place for me. That's why I put those movies up, up above all the rest. But yeah, Black Panther, I would still put it up pretty high, I think. Uh, above the Iron Man movies. That might be blasphemous. And the Iron Man movies, though I enjoy the Iron Man movies, they've just never really been my die-hard top favorites, you know what I mean? So uh, Black Panther definitely goes above the Iron Man movies 
uh, for me. Uh, but yeah, Captain America, especially you know Winter Soldier and Civil War, those are those are at the top for me. And then yeah, I personally really like the Thor movies. I know other people hate them, but oh well. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you guys, what did you guys think about uh, Black Panther? Uh, if you want to talk about spoilers with me in the comments, please do so. Uh, yeah, just everything about Pla Black Panther was so good. Cast story, everything. I loved it. As far as another movie, this is one that's like, what, 30 plus years old? <laughs> uh, my theater, uh, we have this thing where they have like flashback cinema. I'm not sure if it's a thing at other theaters. I don't know, but yeah, uh, at my theater we call it flashback cinema and they'll show old movies. And they were showing the first Godfather movie. And I have never seen the Godfather. <laughs> so I was like, I'm going to take this opportunity to watch The Godfather. So me and my mom, we went to go see The Godfather and I loved it. I really enjoyed it. <laughs> uh, there were a few things I was a little confused about. It's kind of one of those movies. It's like, I think I need a second viewing of it. But I did. I really enjoyed it. Uh, it moved very quickly considering how long it is. I was worried that I would get a little bored, but I was never bored. I really enjoyed it. I really found the plot and the characters intriguing. And yeah, it, it, it's one of those movies that you know a lot about it through pop culture. So there were a lot of things that I was already familiar with, but it was really nice to be like, oh, I get the reference now, you know, like, get the full context of the reference. So, yeah, I'm late with The Godfather by 30 plus years, I think. <laughs> Maybe more than that, I'm not sure, but yeah, I loved it and enjoyed it. And I can swear I saw a few more movies this month, but I can't quite think what I saw. Maybe I didn't see anything else. I, I'm gonna end this video and forget all about it. Uh, but yeah, definitely been having some great TV viewing. I, I always tell you guys, TV is my number one obsession. I love it. Uh, the latest season of Jessica Jones came out. That's part of the Marvel Netflix shows. Um, I was a little, a little disappointed with season two of Jessica Jones, you guys. Uh, season one of Jessica Jones is one of my favorite seasons out of all of the Marvel Netflix shows. It is definitely my favorite. And... I don't know if that's just because of the whole story that they had going with Jessica and the character of Kilgrave that was played by David Tennant. I don't know. I think I just found that whole arc much more fascinating. And yeah, the, the arc this season, it was still good and intriguing, but I don't know. It just, it was a little bit more slow and boring for me, which I, I found unusual. Uh, but yeah, it was still an okay season. Uh, I put it kind of further down on the list, like in, in the whole Marvel Netflix lineup, I've definitely put this season pretty low at the bottom. And weirdly enough, you guys may gasp when I say this, but I think I enjoyed the first season of Iron Fist more than I did this second season of Jessica Jones. So that's kind of how I feel about it. Like I said, I mean, it was still an okay season, but there were just certain things about it I was like, I'm just not having a good time with the season like I was the first season. The first season was just absolutely mind-blowing and shocking and utterly terrifying and gripping. I mean, it really got to me. And yeah, this season just does not compare to that first season whatsoever. But still, I, I feel like I just gotta keep saying it. Yeah, I gotta keep repeating it. It was still an okay season. I don't want to upset anybody. <laughs> but yeah, I, I did finish Jessica Jones. Uh, I also watched this series on Hulu called Hard Sun. Um, it just aired here in the U.S., but I think it aired maybe back in January or February in the U.K. It's a, it's a British show that I guess Hulu bought, but yeah, Hard Sun, you guys. Oh my god, I am obsessed, <laughs> and I hope it doesn't get canceled. It because uh, I've seen a lot of negative reviews for it, and I'm not quite. I don't understand the negative reviews for it because I am obsessed. Uh, if you don't know what Hard Sun is about, it takes place in. Um, I guess London, England, and there's kind of this government conspiracy go going on. Something is being hidden, and it has to do with this apocalyptic event, something that's going to destroy the world. So yeah, we follow these two cops as they try to figure out what Hard Sun is, because that's kind of the code name of the file that they've found that is detailing this apocalyptic event. 
and uh, yeah I freaking loved it and yeah the creator uh Neil Cross I believe his name is the creator he because he also did like Luther which I loved uh he's saying that he has like five seasons planned for the show and I really want to see all five seasons <laughs> uh so so please please Hulu you guys in the UK don't cancel Hard Sun because I love it I'm obsessed I need to know how it ends uh, but yeah like I said it has a lot of negative reviews and I don't understand why and yeah a lot of the reviews people saying that they were confused I wasn't confused what's to be confused about can someone <laughs> if you watched Hard Sun and you're one of those people that hated it please talk with me you know let's have a dialogue about it because I'm just really confused about all of the hate towards it because I personally love it and I I highly recommend it like I said it's just something different because it seems like a, a cop show you know a crime show but there's so much more to it because you do have this kind of very slight science fiction element to it with this whole apocalypse that's kind of coming and yeah the question of is it a true apocalypse? Is, is it a hoax? Is it for real? You know, lots of questions and lots of deep thoughts with it. And I just really like how this this apocalyptic thread kind of weaves through the season. It's only six episodes, but it, it weaves through the season in really clever, creative ways. But yeah, very curious your thoughts, you guys. So I guess I'll end there with movies and television. Let's get into some Funko Bops, you guys, as always. And we went, me and my sister, we went a little nuts with our Funko Pops this month. Um, I, I only have a small selection of what we purchased this month because a lot of the a lot of them are still in their boxes and I didn't really feel like getting them out of their boxes just yet uh so yeah I kind of have a sampling of some of my favorites that we bought but yeah we bought uh some pops from the newest Walking Dead lineup we got a few from Jurassic Park uh yeah let me just show you guys we got these from the emperor's new groove which is a disney movie uh, I, I feel like a lot of people are not familiar with the emperor's new groove but me and my sister we love this disney cartoon and yeah this is cusco uh in his human form and then when he turns into a llama and these are so cute uh we still need to get Kronk and yzma there were also a new batch of Lord of the Rings pops this month as well. We got Merry and Pippin. Oh man, which one's Merry and Pippin? I think, yeah, this one's Merry, right? Yeah, this one's Merry and this one's Pippin. They are adorable. Merry and Pippin are like two of my favorite characters in Lord of the Rings. And uh, yeah, we did also get Gollum and Aragorn. Uh, I know there's a tree beard. We're still not sure if we want to get tree beard or not. But yeah, we got these two and Aragorn and Gollum. Finally, you guys. Amy Pond, uh, a companion of the 11th Doctor. It's about goddamn time. Seriously, they made a Clara pop before they made an Amy Pond pop. It's very frustrating. <laughs> but yeah, we finally got one. We were so excited for Amy. She is absolutely adorable. She almost looks like the Ginny Weasley pop. I swear to God she does. The latest Game of Thrones, we got Daenerys Targaryen in her white wintry outfit. I love this. I always love the Daenerys pops because there's so much detail, especially with her hair, because she always has those really elaborate braids in her hair. But yeah, I love this. I'm glad they made one for her in the white outfit. And this is perhaps a spoiler from the latest season of Game of Thrones. I'm I'm sorry about that. I apologize if you're not caught up, but it's one of my purchases this month. <laughs> and yeah, this is the Night King on Viserion. Oh my god, creepy. I love it. Ugh. And you guys, they made the royal family as Funko Pops. How great is that? They are adorable. I love it. Y'all know I am obsessed with British culture and British literature and British movies and television. Uh, that includes that includes an obsessive love of the British royal family as well. But yeah, we have Kate Middleton and Prince Harry. I can't find Prince William. Where the hell is Prince William, you guys? <laughs> so yeah, I definitely need to collect Prince William and uh, the queen. I, I really like the one with the queen because she comes with a corgi. I gotta get that. And then last, Princess Diana. I'm so glad they made some Princess Diana pops. Uh, this one is in her classic black dress and her, her tiara. It's so beautiful. I definitely want to get my hands on the red outfit because there's another one of her in a red outfit if I can ever find that one. That one's supposed to be very rare. 
So, you guys, that's it for my fangirl favorites this month. In the comments below, I definitely always love hearing what you guys got up to this month. Uh, what did you fangirl or fanboy about? It can be movies, television, music, video games, Funko Pops, whatever floats your boat, just share with me down below. So, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you like this video, you may like these other videos. Bye, guys.